You got off easy. Anyway, yo, this, yo, look how, look how sexy Red did her goddamn baby daddy, bro. Jesus Christ. I'm going to be honest with you. The more I see her, like, she looks a little bit less like Young Thug. Like, she still look ratchet, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, there's, there's something ratchet about her. I don't know what it is. But, yo, she blurred this nigga face out on some ill shit. Okay, Rogers, I, I spoke about the restitution that G Herbo has to pay, $138,000 and 5000 Yeah. Yo, she He's dating not, a nigga who yeah. she dated a nigga who is either heavily Haitian or you know who this is? Oh shit, nigga, her baby daddy's Kai Sinat. Oh, Polo G. <clears throat> nah, it's Kai Sinat, bro. Am I, yeah, he got a chest tattoo like Kai Sinat. Bro. Nigga, that's Kai Sinat right here, bro. Yo, that is Kai. What the fuck? Yo, damn, Kai. The only is what you <clears throat> Yo, chat. So she, she deleted this, right? The most shocking thing about this, the nigga didn't have a, a ankle monitor on. Like, no ankle monitor? Like, that shit sounded egregious. You know what the most shocking thing it was to me? He ain't having no Burberry. Yo, sex, yo, Sexy Red is a type of chick that dates. Yo, you, you know I like Sexy Red, too? You know she's like, she's making a lot of money, but she still seemed broke. Like, she still seemed broke. I like it. Like, that takes a particular skill. And I'm not trying to diss her at all. I'm saying it's a good thing. She's still dumb relatable. Bro, you know she making probably like 60000 70000 a show these days. Bro, she still got that little Cartier, that Drake water. Nigga, she had, <laughs> and she still got that fashion over top. That same G-string she used to wear back in, her, in the hood. Yeah. She keeping it. Pete, the only thing she probably like, you know, just changed out was her hair. How long do you think she's gonna last, Zach? Um, I don't know. I don't know because what happens is that people get really tired of of like a style of music. Right now, I think the going rate on each style of music is like a year and a half. And I, and I, and I think she's like on her first year, if you ask me. Like eight months, really, not even a year. So what months. happens is all of these songs like, shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Like, that's cool. Or fuck my baby, that yeah, that's cool. So she has this chant type style, which it's kind of new and unique. And she's the only one doing it. But what happens is in two years from now, when she's doing the same shit, people are going to be like, yo, this shit whack. And and really, it's not her more than it's them. People just move on from shit. Yeah. It's just some fucked up curry shit. Yeah, people will move on from it. So here's the thing, though, with her. If, if she knows how to play her cards right, She'll do and, and and um won't fall victim to what the city girls fell victim to. Sexy Red is now the epitome of a certain type of woman or a certain type of woman that want to act a certain type of way. What that means is that once you become a symbol of something bigger than just your songs, you're going to last. It's just can you remain relevant enough on the music side that you're not just like a caricature of yourself. Like, cause I think with the city girls now, JT just previewed a song by herself. Like she, uh, <laughs> chat, remember they were all mad at me for saying she should go solo. Do you see Carisha here? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I, I told y'all, rap done passed JT and the City Girls then, man. Rap, rap, rap is at some place where 
The next chick that's going to pop off, mark my words. She's going to be. She's going to be filthy. Man. She will either have a buck 50 on her face or she's going to look like she stink. Trust me. <laughs> you going to be able to sm yo, you're going to smell the, you're going to smell the rotten fish through the screen and she's going to be fire. Trust me. Like <laughs> the problem I keep telling I keep telling everyone these girls, y'all what people are supporting right now is ghettoness and ratchetness. And y'all don't look ghetto no more and, and ratchet enough when y'all clean up talking about your, your pretty. Like, nobody hear that. And, oh, you got to be a, a whore. Like, complete, complete whore. Buck 50, though, at? Buck, buck 50. Buck 50. <laughs> not, not, not even a 50, 75 cent? B buck 50. Buck, oh, buck 50. Either that or a bullet like, wound. Bullet wound. Like on some two face type shit, like whole face rearranged, some yeah. something of the sort. So hey, like like this song she previewed. Man. This song she previewed. Uh, unfortunately, and and here's the here's the thing about female rap as well. And I, and I'm glad about this actual fact for female rap. Competition breeds. You know, it, it gets the best out of people, but also medi mediocre shit just get kind of pushed to the wayside. Like, for example, when there were a handful of women that people were listening to, it was just Nikki Cardi, City Girls, and Meg, for the most part. It was easy to give mediocre material and still get you know, rewarded with attention for it because you were one of the five. Now you have all these other women who have inundated like, like this whole scene. Yeah, like it's, it's it's a problem. Man. Somebody said Can they blame men for it? What do you say? Somebody said a little pump still alive rap ain't dead. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, JT, unfortunately, I think you should have went um, solo sooner. But yeah, chat, listen to this, man. Shorty, I just like you, but you type of yeah. 